But yeah, and then this process went on, little by little, week by week, build slowly, um, until eventually, let's see what we've got. Show you a little bit of the process. Specifically, day one, my the first day, the teacher put this in front of me. And I don't know if y'all can see this really well, but someone who can barely read music, maybe like a lot of y'all, this is pretty um, scary. <laughs> and I remember just looking at it thinking, there's no way I'm ever going to play this. And so he gave me something way easier, like I showed you. Um, but then it wasn't, you know, I eventually learned this one, and it's not so bad, you know, just to show y'all. This is full of notes, accidentals, 16th notes. It looks really complicated, but when you hear it, it's not so bad. So you practice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you got to Yeah, you got to practice. Um. A lot of these songs aren't the most interesting. I just chose these because they were some of them I specifically remember, and they're most of them they're right out of this book. Um, it's not always the case for people. It typically, how lessons work is it's a very personal thing. You know, you say uh, I'm interested in this type of music, or um, I heard this the other day and I really want to learn it, and I think I'm ready. And the teacher says, "Well." I think you are too. Or maybe the teacher says, you know, that's a great song, uh, but maybe another week, maybe another day. Um, so it's part of the, the instructor's role to kind of guide the student to make sure they don't run into something they're not ready for. And this is in general for all lessons. Uh, but for me, let's see, I'll play a couple more for those beginning ones. This is a nice one.
for your test group for uh -huh. this contest you're going to do. Oh, we, yes. we never got back with you to hear how it went. Oh, well, let me tell you about the experience. Because that's, that's really why you go to these things. Um, so, by the way, how much time do I have? This class goes to 9.25. Okay. Yeah, 22 minutes. So, we'll cut to the end. I, I played really well, but I didn't do enough to win. <laughs> But uh, basically, I showed up, and you know, you get there, and everything's just crazy. Everyone's you know running around. And it feels like, and the reality is, it's not that crazy. But it just feels like that because you know you're running everywhere trying to figure out. You know, there's parking you got to figure out. There's the hotel you got to figure out. There's um, registration you got to get to. You got to wake up real early and find you know where you're going. Just a big classical guitar mm -hmm. contest. There's mm -hmm. nobody else. Yeah, it's it, it. Well, it's on the. Because this was at the A and M Texas A and M uh, College Station campus, so you know there's students walking around going to class, but <laughs> uh, you see someone with a guitar, and maybe if you don't know where to go, you follow them for a bit. <laughs> um, but you know, it, one of the things for me was parking. I had to figure out, and I just thought, you know, I'm not going to pay some some silly ten dollar parking fee because I figured it was just ridiculous. So I walked. I walked like with my guitar, like. Over a mile, it's probably like two miles, a 45 minute walk. That gets heavy. Uh huh. And uh, I, I got there and I figured out parking was free. The whole weekend it was free. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, you go in front of these judges and you play, and it's real nerve wracking. Uh, you know, I'd spend the morning preparing, warming up, and then you, you go and there's a concert, and they tell you, and, and as it unfolds, it's, it's real interesting because you can, you can go and you can watch. You know, after. Uh, I had bumped out of one of the rounds, you know, gotten bumped out of the rounds, and I could go watch and see, you know, see all the people. So that was an, the other cool side to be on it. Um, but yeah, it was a really great experience, and I met uh, a lot of people because of these things. You know, one of the things is obviously it's a really cool experience to be a part of, but at the other, it's 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 networking. And I think later in 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 college, the college experience, you start to uh, at least the last two or maybe. Three yeah, probably the last two years, you start to learn about, you know, getting in with that group of people that you need to know to be able to be successful because, and that's true in every career, you know, you can't just do it by yourself. You've got to have someone that tells you, hey, you should go look at this, or hey, um, you should just stop here, or hey, you know, things like that. Um, and do people win money at these contests, or is it just like ribbons and trophies? No, some of them, some of them, yeah. There's just like, hey, here's a certificate you won. Uh, but some of them, it depends. And the, usually, the more bigger the prize, the more prestigious the competition, the more bigger players that are there. This one was three thousand, three thousand dollars, I think. Um, that would, that would, that would buy you this guitar. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So. Uh, there's all kinds of things like that going on. It's probably in Texas alone, I don't know, five or six pretty big ones a year. But yeah. Um, so getting back to this, uh, I think sometime, you know, uh, everything I've been showing you has been kind of laid back pieces, right? It's been really relaxing and nice. Um, and that's how it was for me about my first two years of studying guitar. Uh, it was real, I just kind of was in it just to see what's going on. Uh, I got a taste of waters, kind of, and I decided at some point, I said, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is for me. I said, I'm never going to be a really good player. Uh, I'm just going to, I've had my time and I'm going to switch majors. And I switched to geology. And I had one, one semester, one semester as a, as a geology major, and I thought, this isn't working. I hate this. I'd get off, I'd go to class, and I think, what's the point? Like, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't, and I, I, I liked what I was doing before. I think I had a good thing going. What was going on? So I decided in that time, I said, uh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna do it, but I know that I'm gonna practice a lot, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a, a decent guitarist, and that's my plan. So I really bumped up my practicing regimen. And I think this here was one of the first pieces I started with. It's called a, I don't think I played it last time. It's called a Studious. I'm gonna play y'all part of it. One, not the whole thing, because I, I don't remember the whole thing. It's like a six minute piece. 
two, not the whole thing, because the middle section can kind of drag on. sick of the piece and you never want to listen to it again and then you move on but uh, it's it's a really great learning process I remember practicing this thing this is a copy of my music so it's got all uh, things over it I remember practicing at bus stops I remember practicing, practicing it in hallways I remember practicing it you know just in my room people hated that I was playing this thing over and over and over and it just got on their nerves and eventually mine and now I can play it again we've reconciled but um, it was a really great process. And there's been you know, dozens of other pieces like this that have challenged me um, as a player, as a person, <laughs> you know, my own limits, uh, my own limits of what I can stand to, to put up with on a daily basis. Um, but yeah, much more time. We still got plenty of time going. All right, did you get a question? Do they have written, in, like, do they have some of the pieces I've written in harmonics? Like, like this is a certain symbol, symbol yeah. Yeah, there's a symbol for it. You know, this this is such a played piece. I don't think that's actually in the music. This was originally written for piano uh, by uh, Isaac Adebanes, uh and it was transcribed by the guitarist Andre Segovia. We've heard of Segovia. Have we heard of Segovia? No. Who's not familiar with Segovia? He's in our book, but oh. we didn't test them on Segovia. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Segovia, I want to talk about Segovia. <laughs> Segovia, uh, he, he, was, he was an emerging guitarist, I think in like the 1930s or something, probably earlier too. Uh, but he, he really hit his stride in like the 50s. A lot of what we have for classical guitar, we owe to him. Um, he basically came along and said, you know, guitar wasn't what it was when he was, you know, learning it. 
uh, is kind of more of this folkish instrument, uh, kind of more like an, uh, an acoustic guitar. Um, you know, because we talk about the difference between a classical and acoustic guitar. You know, acoustic guitar, it's kind of like this background noise, and you wouldn't hardly ever, occasionally you see it nowadays, but you hardly ever see an acoustic guitarist on stage alone by themselves just playing. You know, that's more of a classical guitar thing. But when uh, Segovia was learning, it, was a, it, it, it wasn't as a respected thing as uh, it, it is today. Um, so he really uh, put it in its place now. But anyway, that's to go. Yeah, that's not why I'm here. <laughs> uh, any other questions about this whole thing? Y'all want to hear another song? Yeah. Yeah. I want to play another one. This one, uh, I learned a bit earlier, but it took me a long time to finish. Uh, it's one of those pieces you start, and you're like, this is a great piece. And you learn the beginning, and you're like, yeah. And then you get to the, that part that you can't really play, and you're like, I'm going to put this away and learn another day. I'm sure y'all want to play experience that. Okay, this is called a uh, classical gas. Actually, let me get up the music. Yeah. Segovia because I I think that was really the sign of his impact on uh, society uh, that one person who made a difference because today hearing that on a pop you know on the radio I love you know, on a top chip top top charts top hit charts whatever because uh, I think it made the top you know it was way down on the list but it made the top hits uh, for some time in the 70s I think right uh, it, it's really crazy to think, but it, it started out this guy, Mason Williams, played it, and he played it on a classical guitar, but I think that goes back to Segovia. You know, Segovia kind of opened everyone's eyes to see it's this, this, this really cool instrument, and he plays a piece like that, you know, something that is really cool, and then everyone um, really enjoys it and makes it onto the radio. It makes it, you know, that kind of popularity. Um, 
which is, it's really, you know, a lot of people, it's so popular, a lot of classical guitarists look down their nose at it. Uh, but I think it's done so much for the instrument, um, just so people know what the instrument is, I think it's really kind of a shame to do that. Anyway, anyone have any other questions about the college, learning guitar, majoring in music? Has anyone here maybe considering or, or having had considered uh, majoring in music? Yes, Kevin. Okay. Um, yeah, you should definitely, uh, depending on what, what you're thinking about, uh, I would say don't just go and sign up and to whatever, you know, go be in contact with the with you know the, the Victoria um, Victoria College because uh, we like to see new people coming into the department and we I mean it's always great to have new people but it's always it's best to know about them before so that we can we can help anyone that's in their best interest. Yeah. I've had a couple of questions along those lines recently and I wasn't sure how to answer them so you can you can tell us your thoughts on this. If a person knows they want to take process technology, they want to work at Formosa or whatever, mm -hmm. or they want to be a firefighter, they want to do the academy, mm -hmm. is it possible to do that and minor in music? Oh yeah, yeah, you can always have a, a minor and uh, it just depends. You know, some minors work really well. They, you know, you can like, say you have your major and then you have a minor and sometimes they overlap. So you, you know, it's really, oh, if you take these three extra courses, you can have a, a whole other part of a degree. Um, and it works really well. Now, some people are just really like, you know, music. It's like, I want to know a lot about music. So it's, you can still get some overlapping because every degree requires what we call electives. And electives are anything that the college gives where it's just like, Hey, this is um, the college is teaching this course. It is good information, and um, in in any part of your at some point in your life, this would help you. So why don't you go ahead and have this as part of your degree? It just depends on your degree as to how many electives uh, you get. And yeah, thank you. Yeah. What piece did you play for the contest? Oh, I played uh, pretty much what I played for y'all last time. You know, that was that was what I played. It was the the big stuff. I think uh, today I, don't, I'm, I really don't have any of that stuff prepared because I haven't played it in a really long time. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but yeah, it was some really intense stuff, which I kind of feel, you know, because I came in here and I was just playing this really heavy, thick classical stuff. Um, so it's kind of nice today, I think, for y'all to hear some of the lighter side of the instrument, you know. Well, I've seen your journey. I love yeah. that you started where you you began on the guitar and you kind of showed us how it's just built and built and yeah. built where you can do what you do. Those tracks are still on my YouTube channel, I think. Oh, really? So if anybody wants to go back and see some of those heavy songs yeah. that David played the last time, you still can. Yeah. You know, I do want to say, I hear this a lot, you know, people, because, you know, I played at a wedding this weekend and people, you know, I played just like this and I think a lot of things people say is, wow, you know, you're such a... Talented player is what I hear a lot, and I, and I really appreciate the compliment. But the reality is, I think in any good musician, there's not a lot of talent involved. There's some talent, you know. You, you obviously need the ability to pick up the instrument and <laughs> and uh, be able to kind of, you know. I've, but it's rare to see someone that I, I've ever, I've only seen maybe one or two people in my whole life teaching, and I say, maybe this instrument's not for you. You know, it's an extremely rare thing. It's, but Almost anyone can pick up a, an instrument and play to whatever level you want. It just depends on your amount of dedication to your practice. Some people will learn faster than others, and they don't need to practice as much. But if they had practiced more, then they'd be a lot further. Um, in my case, uh, I, I practiced a lot, like a lot, a lot. And I think that's, that's the only thing I can give credit to, what I can do, my devotion. Yeah. How much time we got? We got like a minute? Uh, I think A minor. A minor. A minor. You got your A minor. A minor. 